Hey makers, it's Charlotte, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make your own all natural body butter. Body butters are anhydrous formulations. This means they contain no water. When creating a body butter, you'll need to select a variety of butters and oils to create your formulation. Typically when you're structuring a body butter formula, your butters are going to make up about 65 to 75% of your formula. Your oils on the other hand will make up about 20 to 25% of your formula. You can customize your body butter using a variety of different butters and oils. Today I'm going to be using a few classics. I'm going to utilize our shea butter and mango butter. And for my oil, I'm going to use a sweet almond oil. I'll walk you through the variety of benefits of these oils, as well as each step in how to create your very own body butter. But first, let's get our safety gear on. Whenever you're creating body care products, it's very important that your workspace is as clean and bacteria free as possible. Therefore, when you're getting started formulating, be sure to sanitize all of your tools, your pitcher, your spatula, any funnels or other equipment that you'll be utilizing in a 5% bleach solution diluted with water. You'll also want to wear gloves and goggles to avoid any product getting on your skin or splashing into your eyes. Let's get started. Whenever you're formulating a product, it's a great idea to take notes. Some projects will turn out great, others may be a flop. In the end, you'll want to take notes to remember what worked and what didn't work and to keep track of what your final formula will be. The first ingredient we're going to use today is shea butter. Shea butter will make up 34% of the formula that we're using today. Shea butter is extracted from shea tree nuts and they are good for so many reasons. Shea butter is a powerful anti-inflammatory, has antioxidant properties, and it has fantastic anti-aging properties as well. It's a great treatment option for those with dry skin or eczema. So let's get our scale turned on and start measuring out our shea butter. So I'm going to be making a 200 ml or 6.76 ounce body butter today. And my shea butter at 34% of my formula will be 2.3 ounces. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna use my stick blender to whip up the shea butter. I'll do this step first, and then we'll start adding additional butters and oils. You'll want to continually use your spatula to take the product and push it into your pitcher. Okay, once your shea butter has reached a sort of cool whipped consistency, um, normally that takes about one to two minutes, it's time to start adding in additional butters. The next butter that I'm going to add is going to be our mango butter. Mango butter is a bit of a softer butter and I love mango butter because it won't clog your pores, so it's a great choice for congested or acne prone skin. I'm gonna weigh out another 2.3 ounces. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna continue to whip these products together with the stick blender. Okay, lastly, I'm going to add my sweet almond oil. In this formulation, the almond oil is going to be 1.6 ounces, which will make up 24% of my total formula. Lastly, I'm going to use my stick blender to incorporate the sweet almond oil into my butters. Sweet almond oil is a great oil for many reasons, but primarily it's an excellent moisturizer and it may help protect the skin from sun damage. I'll use the stick blender until, to mix these until they're fully incorporated together. Lastly, I have a few final ingredients to include. I'm going to include half an ounce of arrowroot powder and I'm including arrowroot powder because it does a good job at helping the formula to feel moisturizing, but not greasy or oily on your skin. Um, the arrowroot powder is optional, but I think you'll find that it offers some great benefits when you do include it in your body butter and lotion recipes. 
So just a half an ounce of that, that's gonna be 7% of my formula. And now the final things to add are my fragrance and my preservative. So the preservative that I'm gonna be using today is called GeoGuard. This is an EcoCert preservative and it's great because it works for a variety of different pH. And it's also stable in both room temperature and heated formulations. So for the GeoGuard, I'm just using one ml of this today and that's all that's needed. Um, you'll see that GeoGuard is a bit of a darker color in oil, um, but it does not show up because of what a small amount it is in the overall color of your body butter. And lastly, for my fragrance oil, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites, beautiful for lotions, body butters, even hair care products. Uh, this one is called Island Gardenia and Spiced Ylang. So I'm gonna be using two ml of this, which is just gonna make up 1% of my formula today. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna use the stick blender one final time to go ahead and mix all of these ingredients together and then my body butter will be complete. Okay, and my product is complete. You'll see I have this beautiful consistency body butter here. It's a creamy white color and I'm just going to simply scoop it into my black UV jar here. Um, this jar has a UV protectant on the glass, which is great because it helps protect all of those awesome benefits to my oils and butters, as well as if you're adding any extracts or essential oils that also have skin benefits, using a UV glass will help protect them from any damage by light. Um, and it can also help extend the life and potency of your body care products. And there you have it. We've created this gorgeous creamy body butter today. And again, just remember when you're structuring your formula, you wanna keep that oil to butter ratio consistent with the butters at about 65 to 75% and the oils between 20 to 25%. Lastly, the arrowroot powder is optional, but it will help keep a more lightweight and non-greasy feel to your formulation. And just use your favorite fragrance oil and any enhancers that you'd like and your body butter is complete. Thank you guys so much for making with me today. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making.